you can get diagnosed through many different ways. If you go to your medical doctor, uh, some medical doctors will order a sleep study directly. But most people end up going to either a sleep doctor or even an ear, nose, and throat doctor like myself. Um, and I also do sleep medicine too. Uh, so either way, you'll, you'll get plugged into the system where you'll undergo a sleep study. And that is the best gold standard way of diagnosing sleep apnea. Now, there are certain um, lesser invasive home studies that can be done. Uh, these are called ambulatory testing methods. And these aren't as sophisticated, but it gets the job done, especially as a screening test. Uh, and so once you get diagnosed with sleep apnea, then um, typically you go back a second night if you have sleep apnea to try different ways of treatment. So one of the more common ways is to use a CPAP mask, and this is one model right here. This is just a mask that you put over your nose and it blows some general positive air pressure through your nose and it keeps your airways open. Uh, and then in the laboratory, this is where they calibrate the exact pressure that works for you. Then you get sent home with this machine and you sleep with this every night at that optimal pressure. Sometimes if you, if you lose a lot of weight, you can get rid of sleep apnea, but for most people, that's not possible. Uh, and so this is thought to be long-term therapy unless you try some other options like, for example, uh, this is a dental device and it's custom molded to your teeth by a dentist. The bottom part slides forward a little bit at a time and by doing that you're pulling your tongue forward as well too because that is one of the main reasons why you have sleep apnea and, and snoring.